Thank you so much, fifth grade. Let's give them a round of applause. What a nice procession into a wonderful event today. It is with such joy and pride that I welcome so many distinguished visitors to our school today. This is very special. So we're having a, a wonderful time with this today. Uh, we want to recognize that we have Deputy Commissioner of Education, Dr. Keith Owen here, and many other distinguished guests joining us. And so the, we're going to start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. So if I could have everyone respectfully stand hands over their hearts, and we will say our pledge. Our flag is located up here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Now we're going to transition into another student performance. We have Miss Amy Barrett here with our fourth grade, and they're going to open up with a performance. Thank you.
Thank you, Mrs. Barrett, and fourth and fifth grade. Fabulous job. Let's show these people how we cheer each other on here. Let's do three cheers. Ready? Students, are you going to help me? Okay. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Thank you. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Dan Snowberger. You guys recognize him. He's our superintendent, and he visits our school often. So I'm going to turn it over to him. Thank you, Ms. Fisher. Um, it is my honor to be here today to recognize just continued excellence on the part of this building and the staff. Um, this staff is so committed to this community and to our kids, um, and this community has so much to be thankful for um, the staff here. I do want to introduce some special dignitaries who are here today to also uh, participate in the ceremony and, and this honor. Uh, I haven't seen yet Mayor Sweetie Marbury, if she is coming yet, um, but she was hoping to make it. We have two of our county commissioners. Uh, we have Commissioner Brad Blake um, and Commissioner Julie Westendorf here with us. We have from the Durango Chamber of Commerce, Jack Llewellyn, who's our executive director, representing our business community. From our Education Foundation, we have um, president of the Durango Education Foundation, uh, Rob Dawes. <laughs> Executive Director of the Education Foundation, Elizabeth Testa. And someone who is not a stranger to this community, Ms. Holly Zink from our foundation as well. We also are fortunate today to have five of our seven board members here, and I'd like to call them, and if they could stand, uh, Mick Souter, Stephanie Moran, Kim Martin, Nancy Stubbs, and Greg Spradling. We're very honored to have them here with us as well today. I will tell the Sunnyside staff that we look forward to having you at a, a board meeting in the very near future because we do want to celebrate with all of our board members the excellence uh, that you have continued to demonstrate here. Um, also uh, in the back is Gretchen Wilson, our DEA president, our Durango Education Association president. Appreciate you being here with us. Again, this is a great day of celebration for Sunnyside, our students as well, because guess what? You guys work really hard, don't you? Uh, you work really hard to learn and to continue to shine and continue to be our future. And all of us old people up here, if I can say that, uh, look at you as our hope. You are the future of our community, and we are so proud and honored uh, to be here celebrating your accomplishments as well. So without any further ado, I want to introduce uh, another guest who is here. Um, he was in my seat not too long ago, um, the former superintendent of Durango and now the deputy commissioner of education for the state of Colorado. Um, he is so excited to be back in Durango. I've had a little opportunity to spend with him this morning um, and are very excited to welcome Dr. Keith Owen. So good afternoon. It's so good to be back in this part of the state. I often have an opportunity to talk uh, across the state of Colorado, but coming back to Durango is one of my favorite things to do. You don't know how fortunate you are to be living in this part of the state and growing up and attending a school district like Durango School District 9R, so it's fantastic. Uh, real quick, there's a few things I wanted to mention uh, about today and what we're trying to do. One is that we're excited to be here at Sunnyside. Sunnyside Elementary School has just been doing such great things. Uh, the school has a history of high performance. In fact, Sunnyside won many awards over the last seven years. Uh, They've had an opportunity to win a Title I Distinguished Award in 2006 and 2011, John Irwin Awards in 2010 and 2012. These awards are for specifically having high academic achievement as a school. And I know when I had an opportunity to be here and work with this school, this school was always a high performing school and has continued that tradition. You should be very proud of the accomplishments of the school teachers staff that work here and the administration that supports you and your school board that supports you. It is a phenomenal school in the state and one that is consistently recognized as a high performer. So teachers, principal on behalf of the state of Colorado, let's give the staff here and the teachers a big round of applause. They do great work. So now I, I have an opportunity to introduce you to a very special guest. Lowell Milken 
became a very successful businessman while he was in his 30s. Now, some people would take that money, they'd buy their own football team, maybe the Denver Broncos, but not Lowell. He chose to focus his time and money to improve educational opportunities for young people across America. As chairman of the Milken Family Foundation and the National Institute for Excellence in Teaching, Lowell's efforts have impacted more than 200,000 teachers and more than two and a half million students across the country. As an entrepreneur, his companies employ 40,000 people around the world. So what brings Lowell to Sunnyside Elementary today? Well, you're about to find out. Please help me welcome international businessman and philanthropist, Lowell Milken. Thank you, Keith, for those kind remarks. I also want to thank you for your outstanding work on behalf of the young people in Colorado. Well, it's good to be here today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's much better. I have been looking forward to come to your school for three weeks now. I know all about this school and I know all about you and how well you've done. But I'm here today to share some very special news with each one of you. Now, I could just tell you what that news is right now, but I have four boys, and my youngest boy would always say to me, Dad, don't tell me what it is. Give me some hints and let me guess. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. I'm going to give you a few hints, and let's see if you can figure it out. Okay? Okay? Okay, here is the first hint. I've come here today because I am looking for someone in this room. That person is an adult, and I have never met that person before in my life. And that person is a leader. Could somebody here tell me what it means to be a leader? Would like somebody like to try? Come on up. What's your name? Jackson Mendias. And what grade? Fifth. Fifth grade. What does it mean to be a leader? It means that a lot of people look up to you and you have to set the right example? Yeah, set the right example and be a role model. You are a very, very bright young man. Wow. That's right. You want to be an individual who sets the right example and other people look up to. Now, that's the first hint. This person is a leader. The second hint is it has to do with excellence. Does anybody here know what the word Excellence means. Could you come up here? And what's your name? Brianna. And what grade? Second. Second. And when you do work in your classroom and your teacher says you really did excellent work, what does that mean? It means that you did a good work and you got all the answers correct. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. It means you performed at a very high level, or you were awarded an A on your paper or exam. And the third hint is, it has something to do with the people who help you every day in school. Who are the people who help you every day in your classroom? Can you come up? Wow, what's your name? Justin. Justin, and what grade? Can Garden. Wow. Who are the people that help you every day do your very best in school? The teachers. You are very, very bright. Thank you. <laughs> yes, your teachers. You know, I happen to believe that teachers and principals have the most important job in our country. After all, we give them the awesome responsibility of helping prepare every one of you for a bright future. 
And because the teachers do such an outstanding job, I want to take another opportunity and ask every one of the teachers in this school and the staff in this school, could you please stand and let's give them a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Now I could see the smiling faces of the teachers and they very much appreciated those applause. But in our country today, we don't do enough to honor and recognize the important week work that our teachers do. And after all, in sports, for example, there's all kinds of awards, most valuable player awards, gold medals, in entertainment, there's a whole host of awards. But isn't it odd that the one profession that prepares all others is seldom part of that celebration? And that never made any sense to me. And that is why many years ago, I created an initiative called the Milken Educator Awards. And this initiative says in a very public way that greatness in education should be recognized too. And that brings me to the exciting news of this afternoon, is that I've come to Sunnyside to present a Milken Educator Award to a truly outstanding teacher, a teacher representative of commitment and dedication, of intelligence and an unwavering belief that every child can succeed. Now, I know you're thinking, Mr. Milken came into my school, he's talking about an award, all you want to know is, what do you get? Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. The first thing you get is one big surprise because you cannot apply for our award. We find you, you don't find us. The second thing you get is a lot of recognition. And that is evidenced by the fact that you're not in class right now. We have all of our distinguished guests here today, and we have the media with us today. The third thing you do is you join a team. And this is a team of other outstanding educators across the nation. And for the past 28 years, we've been presenting these awards. And now we have more than 2,600 of Milken educators. And the fourth thing you get is a financial prize. Could somebody tell me what this big word financial means? Does anybody, come on up. What's your name? Dylan Harris. Dylan, when somebody uses the word financial, what does it usually involve? It involves, um, I kind of forgot. Well, that's okay. You stay up here with me for a minute. Does somebody else know what financial means? Could you come up? Dylan, we're going to ask him too. What's your name? Adam Prouse. Adam, when somebody uses the word financial, what does it usually involve? Money. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> that's right. Money. And because this school performs at such a high level in mathematics, I'm going to show you exactly how much it is. Could we have a few volunteers here? Jack, do you have them? OK. So who could tell me how much money that is? Who could tell me? Come on up. What is your name? My name is Michaela. Michaela, and what grade? Third grade. Third grade. How much money is that? That's $250. Very good. Thank you. Now, could somebody tell me how much money this is? What's your name? Owen Davidson. Owen, how much money is that? That is $2,500. That's correct. $2,500. <laughs> And I want you to know that the recipient of this award receives a financial prize of this. What's your name? Andrew Samora. How much money is that? That's uh, 
thousand dollars. Thank you. Yes, yes, twenty-five thousand dollars, and the recipient is free to use the money for any purpose whatsoever. Now we've been traveling throughout the United States. As I've mentioned, we've presented more than 2,600 of these over the past 28 years. This year we're presenting 40 across the nation. But what's so exciting is that we're here at Sunnyside to present this award to a truly exemplary teacher. So let's find out who that teacher is. May I have the envelope, please? It gives me great pleasure to present the Milken Educator Award to a truly outstanding teacher. And that teacher is Carrie Harper. Thank you. Carrie, we're going to let you sit down for a moment just to catch your breath. You know what Carrie said to me when I, when I just greeted her? She said, I didn't even apply for this. What is this? We're going to ask her to make a few remarks in just a moment. But before we do, I want to take this opportunity to say a couple more things. First of all, we have a Milken educator here from Cortez, right? And why don't you come on up here and introduce yourself. Maybe just tell a little bit about when you received your award. So this is a good stalling exercise to let our new milk and educator catch her breath and think about something. But um, when I was a classroom teacher in 2003 in Woodbridge, Virginia, um, I got a surprise just like this. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, it represents everything good about education um, because you become a role model for a lot of other teachers. Um, it also is a great opportunity to become part of the team that Lowell talked about. Um, there's nothing more um, exhilarating and professionally rewarding than getting together with a group of Milken educators and talking about what we do for kids. So um, I'm proud of this teacher. I'm proud of this school for um, being a Milken school now. So congratulations. Right. right. So. Mr. Milken just, so I was a teacher when I won this award in Virginia, and now I'm the superintendent of schools in, in Cortez, which is just about 45 miles west of here. Do you guys know where Cortez is? Yeah, yeah that's where I'm from. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, come on up here now. We've let you catch your breath. I want you to know a few things I just want to tell you, is that you came to our attention because of the outstanding work you've done in a short period of time. I think you've only been in education for approximately, what, seven, seven years now? And our award, we are looking for outstanding educators who are in early to mid-career, who have already distinguished themselves like Carrie, but we believe have the potential to accomplish even greater things in the future. And Carrie, all I want to do is say thank you for making education your chosen profession. Well, um, thanks. I am um, very shocked and uh, not at all expecting that. So, um, but it's also um, kind of unfair because I'm I have been trained a lot by a lot of much better teachers, and so they're the ones that really should be up here. So um, they're amazing, and um, it's about the team, and it's not about me. And so 
I'm just thankful for all of the teachers and um, the special students here. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Car Carrie is right. Carrie would not have come to our attention if she was the only outstanding teacher in this school. You have many outstanding teachers in this school and in this district. But when you have an individual award and you attach $25,000 to it, we're somewhat limited in how many that we can present. Over the past 25, uh, 28 years, we've presented more than uh, $66 million in awards throughout the nation. And, but what's so exciting is that I was able to come here to Sunnyside, a school I've heard so much about, and I also own a home in this area. It is a beautiful area, so it was a great opportunity for me. And the final thing I'd like to say to all the young people here today is that when you think about what you're going to be doing with your life, think about becoming a teacher. Think about the enormous impact that you can have, not only in this community and this state, but throughout our nation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Milken. Let's hear three cheers for Mr. Milken and for Carrie Harper. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Thank you so much. This is going to conclude our assembly. I have nothing else that can top that. So we are going to have Ms. Harper and her class, if you could please stay back. And then we're going to go ahead and dismiss grade at a time um, and, and have our students exit out the back because you have a special um, surprise from our PTO, our, our SIPTA, our parent group. And then I want to invite parents and all of our distinguished guests over to the library where we will have a reception afterward. Thank you so much.